Magical realism is a literary genre that has gained immense popularity over the years due to its ability to blur the lines between reality and fantasy. It is characterized by the use of magical or supernatural elements in an otherwise realistic setting, blending elements of fantasy and the supernatural with the real world. In this genre, magical elements are treated as commonplace and are seamlessly woven into the fabric of everyday life. This creates a sense of wonder and surrealism that can be both unsettling and captivating. What makes magical realism so enjoyable is its ability to transport readers to a world that is both familiar and fantastical. It triggers readers' imaginations and challenges their perceptions of reality. Allows them to explore a world where anything is possible, where the laws of physics and logic don't necessarily apply. One example of magical realism in literature is, The Ancestor's Secret series by Erika M. Sabo. In this novel, the secretive world of an ancient clan is home to a range of supernatural phenomena, including magical healing, mind-bending, time travel, shape-shifting, and telepathic communication. Yet these elements are presented as a normal part of life, rather than as extraordinary events. The secretive world of the ancient clan Ilona was born into, is filled with mysteries and obscure traditions. Their beliefs are unbeknownst to her, and Ilona resigns to live the simple life of a small town doctor. But her life goes into a tailspin, on her 29th birthday. She starts to develop unusual powers, which she finds exciting as well as frightening. She struggles to find answers, but those who try to reveal the clan's secrets, are severely punished, while a menacing man is following her and wants to kill her. Who is he? Punished by the ancestors long ago, Mora has waited centuries for the chance to reunite with her beloved Joland, and to gain power over the Hunter clan. Revenge has kept her alive, for over 1,600 years. Ilona must seek out the destiny box, that contains a message from their ancestors, while she attempts to sort out her feelings for the men in her life. She's forced to unlock her chameleon ability, which grants her staggering power. The elders of the clan are anxious, as they have no control over Mora, and instead must rely on Ilona. Her journey through time brings her back, to where their people once lived as nomads, confronting the evils of Mora in 14th century castles, all while striving to guarantee the birth of a child in the 4th century, that will save their future. If they fail, the clan will be forever lost.